Hello, this is Poonam here, the technical support expert for Pandacon. In this video, I'll walk you through the integration process for applying multi-DRM to your content using Pandacon CLI Packager. The first step in applying Pandacon multi-DRM to your content is content packaging. There are various methods available for packaging the content. In this video, we'll discuss in detail on using the Pandacon CLI Packager for packaging the content. The Palicon CLI Packager is based on Google's Shaka Packager. It is a CLI-based tool that provides an on-premise packaging support for your VOD content. It supports Dash, HLS, CMAF, NCG and HLS NCG packaging. You can download the CLI Packager from our downloads page. It supports Windows as well as Linux environment. So select the Packager that suits your requirement. For this video, we'll go ahead with the Windows based packager. Place the Palicon packager executable file at your preferred location. The input to the Palicon CLI packager is an encoded MP4 file. Have placed the MP4 file on the same path. The basic format of the packager command is the ENC token value. This value can be found on the Palicon console under the multi-DRM settings. The content ID value. It can be any unique ID that is assigned to your content. The content ID is required when requesting a DRM license for playback. The input value is path of the input mp4 file. The output value is the path where the output should be stored. You need to provide the encryption type which could be dash, HLS, CMAF, NCG or HLS NCG. Kindly refer to our guide for more details on other optional parameters that can be provided while packaging the content. Now that we have discussed in detail on all the necessary parameters that are required for packaging, let's Proceed with packaging our content. When the packaging is completed successfully, the output folder is created on the output path provided in the command. It consists of the MPD manifest files, the audio and the video folder which consists of the segmented files. The same can be viewed on the Palicon console under the multi-DRM, DRM packaging page. You need to upload the output files to AWS S3 or a web server that allows access to these content by HTTPS URL from any location. The .mpd file is used for requesting the playback. To know more on the license acquisition and playback process, please check out our episode number 2.